hey guys i wanted to come to you real quick with a update on our trays ebony half wig um as you know if you have not seen my initial review on this unit i'll go ahead and leave the link below but let me tell you what i did ebony is shaped extremely weird and i had always noticed that but i kind of figured I thought or assumed that people weren't finger combing it out in the middle enough so it was really wide like it had a really big perimeter and in the middle was very sparse looking it looked like it had a little dip to it so I went ahead and finger combed my unit out and was trying to work with it trying to work with it and it just was not working for me so I decided to flip the entire unit around so this right here is actually where the nape should be this is basically the back of the wig and this is the front and it still has an odd shape to it to me But um, it looks better this way with the wig twisted. I just didn't like the way it was laying when you initially put it on. So I like it this way. The longer, longer parts of this wig were just sticking out too much. And it was really starting to look like a lion's mane. But I mean, I kind of like that look, but it was just too wild for me. I haven't been wearing it with any leave out. I think I, I think I showed a video on how I did my leave out, but I really have any leave out out. It's curled, but it definitely gets frizzy, super, super quick. Like literally, this is probably like week two, and honestly, I'm kind of over it. It gets tangled very easily, and I mean I know it's, you know, curly hair, but the ends gravel together so much it just forms like a ball like it just looks like a clump of hair at the ends so i have been doing like finger combing basically daily and i'm just trying to get it to frame my face more and i cut a little bit off on the daily just because when i'm at work i tend to do this a lot so it's getting tangled or i tend to go like this and it's just getting kind of mad it so i have been cutting kind of on the daily but um it's fine because it is so much hair you really can't tell like my co-worker she was like oh you cut your hair i was like yeah i cut it um just to like get it to frame my face and just like tame it down just a little bit but like right here it's so boxy And then it doesn't help that it sit right on my shoulders. This is like a 10 inch when it's just like this. But of course if you pull it, it's longer. And then if you pull it, then that long strand just sitting out looking crazy. Any leave out, out. And I take um, curl scrunch and some hair milk. And I just rub that in my edges. So when I wear it like this, you really can't see. And these strings right here, that is the drawstring. That's the drawstring for the wig to make it tighter or looser. I just haven't cut it out because I'm afraid this unit will be too loose. Because, I mean, it has a nice fit. And I feel like if I cut that drawstring, it's going to be way too big. So literally, I just took the drawstring under so that's it and then I just tuck it under if you're gonna do this the way I did make sure to really tuck the drawstring under to the point where it's comfortable I had this laying on like my edges like on this side had kind of like did like a side part type of thing and it was like laying right 
right on my edges and it was caused by such a headache so definitely tuck it to where it's comfortable so yeah so yeah if you have any questions about ultra ebony please leave them below if i had to rate this unit i'd say it's a out of five stars I said three, I guess. That's about it.